Welcome. Hey, we got people dropping in. Wonderful. Welcome to the show. I did not expect new students to show up. <laughs> uh, this is completely experimental, but um, you may not see this video, but this is the opening to the show. Um, you may have to install a YouTube thing. This is how much uh, we experiment here. And... Hey, got somebody else in here. Cool. Hey. I'm not seeing it, but There we go. All right, that's enough silliness, but uh, uh, the video thing I'm still trying to work out, but uh, I'm excited already. looks like we got some new students here. This is the show, okay? This is uh, something I'm going to try to do on a um, weekly basis and have a chance to interact with the students and also bring in some people to talk about the work that we're doing and, um, and do some goofy things. So um, if you haven't got the wind of it, this is a course where you really get a chance to... Uh, play a lot and be creative and that's why today's daily create um, assignment that we have out there we like to do a video one for all of our new students and it's a way to introduce ourselves and video is a way that you get to see where people are obviously the people here in the hangout I can see you all and um, the little story I told you gives you a chance to make something up so um, in this class you get to make a lot of things up before we talk about the class, uh, I see uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I never had this many new students show up for a video, so why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Somebody go. I'm going to ask, wait a minute, before the, so the new students get a chance, I have two of my former students, um, Haley and Daniel here, here, so why don't you guys say hello first? Hey. Hi. I'm Daniel. I am a formal student. And that's about, yeah. And that's about <laughs> sums it all up. <laughs> I see uh, my friend Ben Harwoods, uh, uh, an outside participant from uh, Saratoga Springs, New York. Hello to Cole. Can you say hello, Cole? I heard my name mentioned there. I'm kind of in the dark. Um, <laughs> so I, I work at a small liberal arts college in upstate New York, and our library just closed, and they turned the lights off. So if you're Ooh. if you're seeing like the reflection of my computer screen, it's not that I have like these really neat glasses. It's just it's kind of dark in here. So um, so I'm an open online participant in DS 106, and I've been I've been following Alan Levine for a long time um, on Twitter and his blogs and. Uh, and so I, I kind of drop in and out of DS-106. It's like just a great experience. And uh, so, um, so yeah, um, I just saw a tweet that Alan was meeting in the Hangouts, and I've got five extra minutes. And uh, 
So yeah, I, uh, I'm one of those open online participants people out there who's always looking to learn and keep skills current and whatnot. And, and in the past, I've gotten to work with some um, um, UMW students and some group projects. So great stuff, great course. Very Thanks cool. So Thanks a lot, Ben. So uh, to the new students who are here, um, you can wave or you can say hello. You can interrupt me at any time. Um, this is not strictly required that you show up every time. I'm, I'm kind of overwhelmed that so many uh, of you did. So uh, so whatever reason, maybe you had nothing to do on a Tuesday or you're still trying to figure out, what am I doing in this class? Um, so I, I'm really glad that Daniel decided to show up. And, and Haley is probably going to be here more often. And hey, guys. Um, as a... Uh, Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, like, hi, I'm Haley. I'm also a former DS106 student. Um, DS106 has kind of eaten my life. I took the class once, and now I cannot seem to extract myself from it because it was just too much fun. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And if you guys ever need help with stuff, feel free to, you know, contact me on Twitter. Um, I check it pretty frequently, so feel free. And maybe... Um I wanted to maybe a chance for the new students to get a sense about what this first week or two is like, where you get like you're thrown so many stuff, setting up domains. I mean, what what would be most helpful for these guys um, to learn from your experience in this first week of boot camp? Um, read the weekly post. Read it when it's posted. Like even if you have no time to do any of the work right away. Make sure that you read the post, read all the directions, and, and even like make a list of the stuff that is required of you that week. Because I often found myself on a Sunday night at you know 11:30, like okay, I've got everything done, I'm totally finished. I'm just gonna check that post one more time to make sure I oh, there's a big thing I totally forgot about crap, and having to go back and redo some of my work. Um, so read that post, take note of it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, as a master procrastinator, um, it's the only thing I really learned when I was in college. Uh, get on top of it early or you're not going to be able to get it all done. Uh, Alan will attest to that, and there was often times that I waited too long and didn't get anything done. So jump on it early. Mm -hmm. So what did, you guys, what did you guys get out of this class? I mean, why, why should these students you know, really persist with this madness? Well, it definitely helped me with understanding the internet a little bit more and knowing how the internet interacts with itself almost. It's kind of a recursive thing. Um, it definitely helped me um, analyze a lot of the things that I post, a lot of the things that I do, and how I tell my own life story. Um, it made me a little bit better and made it more interesting so that I could actually get people to pay attention to what was going on instead of just getting lost out in the web. Yeah, um, I, I have to agree, and, and I mean, DS106 kind of changed my whole style of learning because I'd never been part of a class before where I got to choose, you know, the assignments that I'm doing and how I learn, and, and you know, I instead of saying, you know, here are the requirements for, for an assignment, here's how you have to do the assignment, here's exactly what the professor wants at the end, you know, it's more to the tune of, here's a dozen ways to complete a basic set of requirements that we want you to accomplish, um, and it, it made me realize that I... I'm so much better at learning than I ever thought I could be. I just need a little more space and a little more breathing room to, to learn my own way. So that's one of the coolest things about the class is that, is that you get to sort of like, you know, figure out how you learn and how you best process information. Um, and it also made me really aware too of how I interact with the internet, you know, what I post and how I post and, and it made me realize that like the web is instead of the web happening to me like now I happen to the internet and I have a lot more control over the stuff I do online now than I did before. Uh, I've also got some skills that are actually really useful just in a general sense. I'm better at putting websites together. I'm better at design. I'm better at making videos. Um, and they're little things but really helpful in a world that is using the internet more and more and more for more and more things. Thanks, Haley. And um, I, please jump in with any question, you guys who are out there still maybe trying to figure out what the heck have I gotten myself into. Um, although I can see by scanning the names of the people here, I think um, most of you are, are folks, um, I think, pretty much have already gotten your domain set up. And um, we can talk about that or things you need to go from here. Um, we're going to move very quickly into where you're starting to write more with your websites. In the beginning, they all look the same. Um, in fact, there's a new default WordPress template that looks very kind of understated. Don't worry about that. We're going to start differentiating right away, um, learning how to customize that, install your own themes, pick your own styles. Some of you guys have done this. 
Um, but again, this video thing is really hopefully not a chance for just um, me or other people to come in and talk to you. I want to hear sort of like your questions or your complaints um, or what you're finding that, that's, that's cool this week. Um, what you'll find in this class is um, often you're going to have to figure out a fair number of things for yourself. So when we get to doing, say, um, a lot of our graphic work, um, you can use whatever software you have on your computer. Um, we're going to recommend other web-based or free um, open source tools. But there's a lot of times where you're going to have to sort of figure out, um, wow, how do I like do something in layers? Or um, where am I going to figure out how to do you know animation like this? So, um, But don't feel like you're stuck on your own. you got to figure everything out. So um, often I would hear back from my students that they spent hours trying to figure something out. And my rule of thumb is like if, if you're spinning your wheels after an hour, um, A, contact me, B, send something out on Twitter because people listen, um, and if not already, be Googling like mad uh, for, your, for your questions. Yeah, and that's a big thing too about like using Twitter. You guys have to build your own community, and that was one of the things that started, you know, becoming less, um, less, like our DS106 community last semester kind of got less vi vibrant and vibrant. There was less vitality to it as the semester wore on, so you're going to get out of DS106 exactly what you put into it. So the more that you participate, the more that you comment, the more that you're on Twitter, um, the more you're going to get feedback out of it. Um, so if you jump in and help somebody when they have a problem, chances are better for you than when you've got an issue, somebody will jump in and help you out. So that's a, that's a big deal, guys. That's a good point. Thanks, Haley. And you guys, can you wave? Let me know you're out there live. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hey, who's that? Hey. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> Don't be shy. I think it was Haley saying hi again. Oh, Haley, say <laughs> hi. hi. That, that's very cool. So, um, you know, I, I'm not. I don't have a plan here for the, this first orientation. A bit of it was just to talk about getting started uh, for those to figure out um, how to use Google Hangout. Um, I'm going to do something probably on Thursday nights that's completely optional. Um, instead of, I tried doing office hours last year um, and it didn't really pick up. So um, I'm, as I told you, I'm pretty much, I do pretty much the same work that I ask you guys to do. So um, as I'm working on it, I will come online Thursday night and just screen share what I'm doing. Um, and it'll be recorded if it's of any help. But if you have any questions, that's a time um, when you can get on share. And, you know, it's, it's very, it's very useful because I can do things like um, pick a screen on my computer and as I'm you know working out how to do uh, something um, and probably just sharing my uh, Twitter window is not very helpful um, but um, I could be um, demonstrating a piece of software last year when uh, we had the, the um, group projects actually uh, Daniel and Haley's group um, they, they were doing their audio editing and they were actually sharing um, the editing screen and giving each other feedback at the same time. So yeah. there's an opportunity, like if you're trying to figure out how to get that setting right on your website um, and I'm trying to say, well, can you just share your screen and then you can sort of show me what you're doing and I should be able to help you. Yeah, Google Hangouts actually helped uh, Haley and I's group a lot when we were doing our radio show. Um, it was a wonderful, wonderful thing. I wouldn't have been able to get nearly as much done if we hadn't had that. Yeah, and, and it was funny. Like even, even during the times when it was just Daniel, you know, plugging away at, at the last little bits of audio editing, just the fact that we were all there, you know, hanging out and providing moral support, I think, was really useful. So, you know, you don't always have to be doing productive work necessarily, as long as you're there for for your teammates and for your you know fellow TS 106ers. That's that's a huge part of the community and, and you know building that community because that's that's on you all. Um, and it's one of the more fun parts, too, is meeting people and, and having fun like that. Um, so, Alan, Nancy had a question she posted in the chat. Nancy, you want to ask that question before we get too much further? Yeah, I have two. Um, sorry if I'm loud. Um, were we supposed to put our gravitars with our submission for Thursday? Um, yeah, as long as you said you did it. I mean, you don't really have to. You can put the link in there. Um, it's just a thing I encourage people. It's a very small detail. Um, thank you, Dan. I wasn't exactly watching the chat. Yes, yeah, um, it's just that um, there's a lot of places on the web when you add a comment and on the DS106 site, um, that way that icon will show up wherever your presence does. Um, so it's kind of a, a handy little tool. Um, another thing as far as the emails, and uh, one of you already asked me, it's a very good question, 
and um, I'll show you this next week probably. Um, with your domains, you can actually set up your own email addresses. Um, and it can be as simple as you can create an email at your own domain. So, you know, Haley can have, you know, happybunny at etherbunny.com. And you can, you can actually use it like a regular email client, or you can actually just send it to your Gmail, et cetera. Um, so you can sort of do that bit of using your own domain to also be your own email, even if you don't want to use it as real email. You can just have it redirected to Gmail. So, um, yeah. Like as you go out and you're creating your social media accounts, you may want to use your own domain emails rather than your UMW emails. Mm -hmm. Can I ask something else? Yeah, definitely. Why don't we have a subreddit? Why don't we? Yeah, because I'm like a big Redditor. I, I was going to make one, then I was like, I don't want to overstep anyone. Do it. Do, Do it. it. I've, been, I've been waiting for someone who had a real Reddit interest, and I, I love it. Um, so do it. Um, invite me. I'm Cogdog on Reddit. I don't, I'm kind of I'm kind of weak on my Redditing, but I, I'm aware of it. So I think it's a great idea. Yeah, I just did Secret Santa, and I loved it. How would yeah, you, how if you would, want? Go ahead. Um, if you want to add me as a moderator or whatever to help you out, I'd be more than willing. I spend okay. probably way too much time on Reddit. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably do it tonight. I've got class tonight, but I'll do it probably before I leave, and then I'll just tweet about it. Nice. I and love it. At Bell Kid everywhere. I love that idea. How how would you see uh, using Reddit in the class? Um, I think we could put stuff on there, like we could link to um, like sites we found that would be useful for the class, or um, I don't know I feel like Twitter sometimes you get a backlog of stuff. Yeah, and it, it might just be like a really interesting like another way to get in touch with the S106ers because I know that not everybody's comfortable with Twitter and not everybody like I know last last semester I had huge tech issues just in um, Google Hangout at all like it would crash on me it was crashing on me earlier today actually a lot um, so that might be just another cool way for people to, to get in touch and to stay in touch um, if, if other methods aren't working out for them Fantastic. In fact, uh, I think you just made my day, Nancy, by <laughs> suggesting something. And that's, that's what we do in this course. I mean, we kind of, honestly, I make a lot of it up as I go. I mean, I've taught it four times. Um, but there's always room to change the way we do things. And, and I'm really interested in, in new ideas like that. So um, plus yeah. one and all that stuff. <laughs> Ten points to Gryffindor. Or I think you're Hufflepuff, right, Nancy? Maybe? No, I'm Slytherin. Oh, Slytherin. okay. Gotcha. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's that's one of the cool things about the class too is that the students really have a lot of power in writing the syllabus. I mean, at some point you're going to be writing your own assignments, which was my favorite part of the course, besides all of it, which was also my favorite part. Um, so uh, yeah, if you've got if anybody else has ideas like that, or you hear somebody like, I think this would be a cool thing, just just go for it. Yeah, one of the uh, tangentially uh, related here, one of the things about this class is there are really no rules to the class, so. Um, especially with the assignments and some of the daily creates. I know Alan has done this and I tried to do it a couple of times. Um, that would take the daily create and just do the opposite of it because why not? Um, the assignment is kind of a guideline and something just to get your creative juices flowing. So think about different ways you can do things. Just because it's been done this way in the past doesn't mean it has to be done this way now. It's like always the pirate trying, code. Yeah, you know, it's always, always try to find a new way of doing things. Excellent. Yep. That's a good point, and you know, I I will bring that up later. But you know, um, I I know in school you're pretty much used to saying, you know, this is what the teacher said I do, and then I do this sort of thing, um, and that will happen. There are things that I'll ask you to do every week. But as Daniel says, you have a lot of latitude because this is a creative class, and if you can think of a different way, or a better way, or a more interesting way to do an assignment, go with it, and then you write about it. So. A piece of the class is producing things and doing things like making videos and graphics and audio files, but it's also writing in your blog about the thinking and the ideas behind it. And to me, that is as important as what you create. So when you decide to say, this assignment sucks, I think it would be more interesting if we did it this way, um, do it and you get full credit as long as you write me about it. You know. Yeah. Um, and and one of the things that I think people sometimes miss with this class, which is kind of unfortunate, is that they're like, okay, I have to make a GIF, so I made a GIF, and I wrote about how I made the GIF, and like they don't think 
critically about what that process of creation means in, in a larger context. They don't really follow that idea out further. And some of the most interesting stuff that I came up with in DS106 and some of the most rewarding stuff I came up with came from, like, okay, I just, I just made this digital thing. Like, what does that mean? How does it, how does it have a larger impact on the Internet as a whole? How does it impact me in a larger way? So, like, don't be afraid to do some of that critical thinking and critical analysis because it is a little bit more work but it's also so much more rewarding if you're willing to push yourself just a little farther and really make some of those bigger critical connections. Awesome. Uh, my script is done. Um, if you have any more questions, you know, jump in right now. Uh, obviously you guys get them the ways to connect, uh, obviously Twitter's a big part, but you can always reach out to me uh, on email. I am on like uh, about 20 hours a day. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm really devoted to this class. It's really important. And um, I just can't wait to see uh, what you guys come up with. I don't ever wear a tie, okay? It's kind of a joke, okay? <laughs> I was trying to do like an old 60s uh, talk show theme, and I thought it would be funny to wear a costume, so I probably won't wear a tie again. Um, it kind of hurts. <laughs> it's a little bit painful. Cramping your style there. <laughs> I don't have any um, style. If anybody during the course of the semester decides they need help on Twitter, um, I just put my Twitter handle in the chat. Go ahead and follow me, and if you tweet at me with the DS106 hashtag or just at me, um, I'll be more than willing to help and kind of give my own opinions on things, or point you in the right direction if I don't know anything about it. Someone apparently created a DS106 subreddit. Already? Nice. Already? Yeah. I'll send you guys a link. It's been around for a couple months, so I just need to do one. So I'm going to copy and send you guys a link. That's cool. But no one uses it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fix that. Um, yeah. I wonder if it was me. <laughs> I don't know who the owner is. Uh, I'm looking right now to see. Let's see. Cracking, uh, cracking awesome. I don't know. But Whoever I they are, they have Alan great taste. <laughs> Whoever they are, they have a good taste in sci-fi. That's that is <laughs> that is someone that's a noise professor. Probably is the guy who created it. Oh, yeah. um, he's he's one of the outside participants. A guy named Zach, a very creative guy, and you'll come across him in DS106. He does some of the most amazing fast Photoshop funny mashups. So that's one. That's one. He he put me riding a pig for some reason. Um, <laughs> I, I think because I tweeted something about or a picture about the javelina, which are these pig-like animals. Uh, oh my! Here. So uh, yeah, there is a subreddit already. So um, let's see if um, I'll try to figure out if that's Zach who made it. But yeah. um, I can tell from the graphic that someone in DS106 who made it. We should start using it. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah, I, 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 I yep, yeah, yeah. It's going to be part of the course right now. You did it, Nancy. Sweet. <laughs> I want to hear from some of the uh, some of the quiet folks who've been just sort of sitting and, and watching us. Like, who are you guys, and what do you want out of this class? Like, what are you hoping for? I'm curious. Well, Laura, I choose you. <laughs> my microphone. We can hear you. Oh, you can, can hear me. It says it's not working. Oh, okay. Um. I took this because I've never taken an online class before, so I thought it would be really interesting. And my roommate last year actually took digital storytelling, but um, it was more like on campus. She would meet with her professor once every three weeks or something, mm -hmm. and she had a blast with it, and she loved it. And it seemed really fun. I would help her with the videos and stuff, so I thought I'd give it a try. So, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Who's your roommate? Caitlin Smart. Oh, okay. She had it with Jim Groom, yeah. Yeah, I know Jim. <laughs> There's another section of it this semester, and people are, like, asking about it on Facebook, and I didn't think it was anything like ours, apparently. It, it is quite different. It's, um, it was the version that was taught before we moved it online, so mm -hmm. I think it's, it's a whole different approach. Um, th they'll still be doing creative stuff, but, you know, they'll be meeting meet in class every week, and... Um, I don't know exactly. I don't even know the guy who's teaching it. Um, yeah, she's apparently not. It's not a great professor, supposedly. Yeah. Well, yeah. They have an expensive textbook, I saw. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll, they'll be doing their own thing, having yeah. their own way, I guess. Yeah. That's fine. So th right. thanks, Lara. I'm, I'm, glad you're, I'm glad you're in the mix. I'm glad you followed your roommate's advice. Um, <laughs> I know I, I had an occasional student who thinks that taking an online class is going to be easier or less time. 
And everybody at the end, you can see those guys shaking their heads. <laughs> no, it's not. Not even close. But but there there is a lot of latitude. So I will tell you, and and Haley and Daniel will tell you this. I assign a lot of work, um, but I'm kind of an easy grader. If you're you know if you're stepping up to the plate and doing your stuff, and and if you're if you're you know stepping you know out of your own limits and trying new things, um, that's what this course is about. Yeah. Um, okay, Carissa, I want to hear from you. And tell me if I'm murdering your name. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's good. Um, just moving down the I, list. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in this class just because, I don't know, I like kind of learning new things about technology. And I'm only in two other classes, so I figured I had the time commitment. Was I was up for it. Um, and I want to be a teacher, so I feel like just trying to do the most, like, reaching oh. out and, like, technology things, I mean, that's... The best. I'm in a technology class actually for teaching, so I'm just all technology this this semester. That's awesome. I'll have to be uh, following you on that because I'm thinking of going into ed tech, maybe kind of theoretically at like the higher ed level. So I will mm -hmm. be watching your blog with interest. Okay. <laughs> all right, Cole. It's up to you. Finish us off. <laughs> yeah, Say well, something I'm intriguing. <laughs> I think he's ignoring us. Oh, so you say why I'm here? <laughs> Actually, yes. <Sorry? laughs> okay. Cole's waving. I'm yeah, I'm. Uh, why am I doing this? Oh, because I apparently want 17 credits my last semester. Um, <laughs> it was this or musical theater or both, and I chose both. And I'm doing a blogging senior project, so very cool. I kind of was like, I've heard I should take this class, and I'm. I've taken a couple of Dr. Whalen's classes, and I was like, let me just do this because ideally I want to go into like. Um, event management, so I'm in all the online stuff I can get. Very nice. Very cool. All right. I can I can tell you have chops, Nancy. So I'm glad you're in the mix. Thanks. My dad's a coder. I'm having I've not been able to do that though. That's okay. And some people have asked me that there is no programming in this class. We we no. do we do this one assignment where you actually you change up the um, content of a web page, but you don't do it through HTML. You do it through a, a web editor, and it's kind of a Kind of a rewriting the web sort of assignment. Unless you know you're me and you're crazy and you decide to go in and change all the CSS line by like bit by bit because you're nuts. Well, well, you're insane. Yes, this is yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Haley had a habit of doing some of the easy things the hard way. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> can we can we hear from Cole? Is he? I don't know. If, Cole, do you have your mic on? I see. I saw his mouth moving, but I didn't hear anything. I can't hear him. Read lips. He could hold up like signs, like yeah, like write some mouth. Hold up. <laughs> He's wow, gonna do right? it. He's <laughs> One second. Need a need a whiteboard. Do you, Do you guys have any questions so far about the way the setting up your domains and the the WordPress installs has worked? Um, I think most of you guys have yours. That's cool. Oh, hang on, uh, Carissa. We can't hear you. Unmute yourself. Um, I have I have the WordPress app on my iPad, and it works really nicely. It's like really easy to navigate. So I would definitely suggest that if you have anything like that. Nice. Oh, Cole has left. Oh, he left. So yeah. sad. Scared away. Uh, that that that'll work fine. It, it's kind of a nifty app. There, there are some things that you <laughs> can't do quite as easily. Um, yeah. That you'll find out, but um, you'll let us know. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, so um, I, I'm still a little bit like uh, pleased and shocked that so many new students jumped in, um, and, and I'm happy you did this. And uh, I will try to be doing this every week. Um, the part about you guys, like um, uh, I've, this is something new, is asking students to sign up to do this twice a semester. And um, uh, my idea is to actually have you sort of be a co-host. And basically, um, when we get into that mode, we'll be talking about what's been going on during the current weeks of assignment and sort of your job will sort of be from what you see um, what you're doing and what other students are doing uh, say in the week that we're doing design work um, so um, look at the syllabus and kind of figure out where the times or areas of uh, content are that you might be interested in um, it's not anything you have to prepare for like this it's just going to be kind of coming on here and talking about what's been going on in the class this week um, yep. 
And uh, when I do this next week, um, I think I have some people lined up, some more open participants like um, Ben, um, who are going to talk about um, some things more about storytelling. Um, uh, a buddy of mine, Todd Conaway, who's uh, participated for a long time, uh, is really good. He creates a new character every time he does something in DS106. He creates a new nice. blog for it, a new Twitter account, and he's really into sort of developing a persona online, um, which may not seem like a relative skill. Um, but it's something interesting to do. And, Who was he uh, last semester? He's been doing this Hatchet Jack sort of character. Um, oh, okay. He was the um, for 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 movie trivia in the in the movie Jeremiah Johnson. It was Robert Redford played a mountain man. There's one okay. scene where he comes across this frozen dead guy in the snow, and that's that's Hatchet Jack. And um, Todd just decided to sort of make that his metaphor, <laughs> wow. um, and sort of assume that identity. Um, so, you know, we get to have a little bit of discussion about identity and, um, and sort of playing characters. I feel weird that I'm the only one on here besides you that has a duck or, like, that has an animal as their avatar. I do. I have a, I have a bunny and a, a simple dog occasionally, but I think I'm going to switch that out to a bunny. So. Yeah, yeah. The, you know, you have to, like, you know, just hold on to your dear duck avatar and don't worry about, you know, being the weird kid in the class because there's someone else. We're all um, the weird kid. <laughs> <laughs> because there's Haley. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, when I saw Haley's icon, like in the first week of DS One Hundred Six, I was like, "She's got it." <laughs> <laughs> Somebody and, else um, gives it. And I've I've actually never changed. I've used been using that same dog icon for um for like well ever since Twitter started and long before that. It's um, I know some people like to change theirs up every week, and that's fine. I'm just kind of like the um, that's my little symbol, and um, and that's it. Nice. Yeah, but it's it's very much up to you in this class, which is why it's it's kind of cool. It's one of the more fun classes you'll take in that regard. Like Hatchet Jack, like there's your example of how like crazy and weird and creative you can get. So. Or Bagman. Yeah. Yes, there's Bagman. That's What's right. That? There's a guy named Brian Short. Um, he's a professor at University of Michigan, and he's he kind of slipped into DS106 last year and did. All of his assignments through a, uh, a character, a paper bag <laughs> character that he did his videos on called Bagman. So he invented a character that he kind of carried through his assignments. Um, and he's teaching a DS-106 class now at University of Michigan, and, and he'll be on the show as well. Um, he also has a, he has a lot of professional radio experience. Um, he's a producer for The Moth, which is a, a NPR show of people doing a live storytelling. So nice. really, tal really talented guy, um, really a good and an inventive uh Creator, and um, you know, I'm glad you mentioned that because some students kind of develop sort of a theme that they carry throughout their work, or maybe they constantly revisit a movie or a topic. Um, one of our students last year, he had a whole kind of pirate theme yeah. to his blog, and he kind of always wrote with a you know, "Ahoy, this is Captain Tony." Yeah. Um, so um, you know, if you don't have to do anything like that, but um, it's kind of interesting to sort of play that out as something to focus on. Like I always use pictures of dogs in mine because I use the dog thing everywhere. So when I'm writing my blog post, I'm always searching Flickr for um, Creative Commons licensed images of, of dogs doing funny things. Yep. Absolutely, yes. Nancy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea, Nancy. We'll get the I'm Canadian. I'm kind of obsessed with it. <laughs> Get the tweet I, DS106 from space. I, kn I know a lot of Canadians. <laughs> I forget what, it's like Commander Chris or something, and he like tweets all these amazing pictures from outer space. So how do we get his attention? I think we tweet him. He's on Reddit too, and he's on SoundCloud. Okay. He Actually, put on um, like ambient noise of the space station on SoundCloud one day. That's awesome. I remember listening to that and freaking out and being very upset by it. But yeah, that's really cool. I'm gonna find I, think really. I, yeah. I think that, I think there's a good audio assignment there, maybe doing some mixing of those sounds. You know, pretend you're in space, make noises. <laughs> I love audio. But yeah, yeah. Let, let's 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 think of a way maybe we can get his attention somehow. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that, but I like class the idea. project. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna find him on Twitter really quick, and I'll send you guys the link. That but he's good. amazing. I love it. I, I love the energy in this class already. Thank you, guys. Yay. Okay, it's Chris Hadfield. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Listen, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to um, wrap up the show here and uh, let you guys get on your way. Uh, thanks for dropping in.
thank you, Haley and Daniel, um, for doing this. Daniel's like, they're, they're the epitome of why we sort of say DS-106 is for life. It's kind of a funny phrase, but people get into this, and not everybody does, but some of them just, um, we have students who've been coming back a year or two. Some of Jim Groom's first students are still sort of peripherally involved with DS-106. Yep. yep. I took it yep. twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm doing different things with my life now because of DS-106, so there's that. <laughs> Yeah, but I hope you guys have a fantastic time. I hope you really enjoy it. It's a great class. Still have fun. Yeah, the the biggest thing, one of my biggest challenges was getting over the perfectionism. It doesn't have to be perfect or you won't be able to get through the class. No, that was also a huge challenge for just, me. Just have fun. Yeah, Frizzle Mantra. Take chances, get messy, make mistakes, and don't be afraid of that last part. All right, well, great advice. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'm going to stop the uh, show right now and... Uh, See you out on the web and the net and the Twitters. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.